In today's video I will review a lure fishing rod which is called Pure Lure Wild. And really that's a fantastic rod and very very sensitive rod. If I would have to use two words or just two words to describe this rod, it's too sensitive really. The sensitivity on this rod is just insanely good and who are fishing like or presenting your lures on bottom or bottom presentation so jigging using jig rigs texas rigs jig heads this rod will shine in those situations and yeah it looks quite nice as well it has a monocoque butt here as you can see or end then super high quality cork here and i reviewed this rod already and uh, i looked at every single detail in a separate video but today i took it out just to test it out and to catch a few fish i used it already a few times and as i mentioned sensitivity is just insanely good but today i'm frogging i'm trying to catch a few pike and to show you the action because the sensitivity you just will have to take my word for it because sensitivity as i say is just insanely good and the action is very very fast i would call it like extra fast action but then once you hook a fish actually the blank it's not like only that the tip bends uh, it helps like all the section with playing action of the fish so yeah quality rod and just have a look at it and in my opinion this rod really needs a silver reel because it has this silver element all kind of writings or kind of edges of the letters are in silver some silver writing here yeah uh, and in this case i have diva alphas sv tw so yeah it matches with this rod beautifully in my opinion Yeah, so let's check about and let's see if we can catch a few fish and see that action. As you can see guys, I'm going above very, very shallow water. I mean, it's, it's deeper than, uh, it has basically a second bottom, as you can see on that bottom screen there, that orange bit, that's real bottom there. Probably a meter and a half of water or so, maybe more. But very thick layer of weed, you know? So I will try to park myself just on the edge of that bead. And yeah. Okay, that looks quite good already. Okay, let's let's park here, I guess. Yeah, quick drop off, we ended up, and yeah, let's give a few casts. I will turn around as well. So I'll be able to cast all the downstream or downwind, should I say? <laughs> thinking, always thinking about the river, guys. Always thinking about the river but it's not a river unfortunately just a big pond i have about six gram chicken so we have to reel in a little bit quicker and make sure that my presentation is much quicker Now I should be like right on the edge on, of that weed. And obviously Pike should be lurking around, you know, hunting. that look no nothing and let's try to go above that weed damn it that was a bite that fish tried again and again finally from the third time super gentle take i just looked somewhere else and yeah okay now i have to turn around gently 
while skipping that fish on. See, the action on this rod is just sublime in my opinion, even though it's like super fast action, super sensitive rod as well. Here it is, little cucumber. Frogita spit out that lure, Mr. Frogita. No? That fish nailed my lure. Look, <laughs> finally I asked for it and she did it three times. Just was was very, very, you know, desperate to get it. Okay, little cucumber, come on. Where are you? Fantastic little fish, very, very good shape. Just be careful, don't get, you know, eaten by other fish. You have some leech on here. Okay, I will try to remove that. That's it, just remove the leech and it went back. Thank you. Currently I have a lure on which weighs around 15 grams I would say. So jihad and silicone combined. And yeah, this rod can cast up to 20 grams and it works very very well with this kind of weight. And in a second I will try much lighter lure. That is about 5 gram lure. And yeah, this lure uh, or this rod should I say casts those weights beautifully really really easy to cast it's accurate it's just pleasure to use guys so casting rating from 2.5 grams to 20 I would say it's kind of accurate but maybe not 2.5 grams maybe 4 grams you can cast if you would put a BFS reel on Maybe you could go down to 3 grams, but as I say, you would have to put on a very high quality like BFS reel on and really then it would not be as universal for this rod, you would not be able to cast like 15 grams with BFS reel, like proper one, which has super light, super uh, thin bolt spool. So yeah, I would say from 4 to 20 this rod is just perfect so yeah it flings out those you know those bigger lures closer to the top casting rating beautifully and now I'll quickly flip the lure or change the lure here we go we'll adjust my brakes a little bit See, against the wind, 20 meters, no problem at all. I could go even a little bit further, I would say. Okay, I got in, into a little bird's nest. So yeah, I just adjusted my reel and rod, I mean, definitely flings out the lure, no problem in my opinion. See, 20 meters, it's going like easy. And against the wind, if I would go side, side wind or downwind, it would go like 30 meters probably. That was a super gentle take. Actually, now I needed that sensitivity. It was super gentle take. Came off. Come on, take it again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. It was nicer fish. Took it again. See, I did not panic. I, I kept on reeling in and just it might stay on. See that action, guys, on, on that rod is just so sublime in my opinion. It flashed, but I did not quite see how big it is. Definitely bigger than the first one. Okay, I will spin around myself now. Just so I would be able to grab the net. See, action is just superb. No, not a big fish, just a little bit bigger. Bang, we got her. Just look at the colors of this one though. Yeah, 
you, you saw the action it was just awesome really just kind of that it was holding that fish just perfectly even though it was hooked you know probably from the first uh, time just slightly but then it came back and very very gentle take that first one was like super gentle i just fell through the rod just like little click stroke and fish was on that was awesome not a massive fish i mean probably i don't know 70 centimeters or so You know what, I'm not taking any chances, I will put a glove on, don't want to be sliced up by that pike, it takes only, I don't know, 10 seconds to put a glove on and then I'm cooking, actually she spat out the lure, that frog, okay thank you, just look at the colors on this one, not a massive fish but fantastic condition guys, are you getting this? Whew really really nice fish really really nice fish those you know dark greens yellows that is awesome let's quickly measure here since we since we can you know that's actually about 70 centimeter pike bigger output than i was thinking okay thank you grow bigger yeah guys that's it i'm done with my fishing uh, i hope you enjoyed this video in my opinion this rod is again super sensitive and if you will decide to get it check those links in the description below you won't be disappointed but that's it thanks for watching and see you in the next one